Alright guys, it's been a well it's been a long time since I made a video. Um, today I'm just going to be doing a DIY draw board for your bow. Um, I'm going to pick up the camera and show you all the things that I have bought and a rough estimate on price and then we're going to put it together and then test the draw length of my bow and uh, it should be fun. All right. All right, first thing here, we have a scale. This is a pretty heavy scale, heavy duty scale. We have a wench, I got this on Amazon. I got both of these on Amazon. This was about $30. This one here was about 35, I think. And then all the rest of this I got at Home Depot. So this is a threaded uh, floor flange, galvanized iron with the threaded pipe. It's going to go in here like this. Uh, the ruler, the turnbuckle, two carabiners, and then some heavy duty wood screws that are going to hold this down and also hold down this. And hopefully these are big enough. Uh, yeah, if they, don't, if they aren't big enough, then we'll probably have to use some washers. And then just a 2x6. All right, first thing we're gonna cut the two by six. This is six feet. of my winch winch I just decided on three inches that way it's not too close to the edge so it won't split I just marked everything inside here so that I could get a good look and figure out which all the ones that I want to um, pre-drill and mount on there. Okay, so in order to get down to these, to the bracket where you can mount it, you gotta take the spool off. that off you can see let's see if you can see there's four there and then a long one here and I think what I'm gonna do is put one here one back there and then one on either side here so next I'm gonna pre-drill these just because pre-drilling with a small uh, bit here 
It's just smaller than the than the uh, shaft of the screw. We'll just help it not to split because this is going to be holding some force. We don't want to split it. So I did end up getting putting some little washers on here just because the head of this screw is just barely too small and here it fits and in these ones it fits this one it's it will work but I'm gonna put washers on all of them just to be stronger You might have to take this off. So I'm gonna to have to take this off here actually to get to those. All right, we now have the winch installed. And my screws were too long, uh, so I'm just gonna have to cut those off or pound them off, or if I wanna leave it on this table, I can actually screw those straight into the table, and this will be super solid. But I don't know if I want to have this on my workbench yet. I am kind of following some plans that I drew up. This design is actually from um, Soul Adventure before he started doing the Hunt Back Backcountry podcast. And I really liked it, so I'm copying his design. And I just wanted to show, do a little de uh, how to build it. And then I'm gonna check the draw length of my bow and we'll film that as well. So next up is the turnbuckle. And the turnbuckle is so that you can micro adjust your draw because you don't wanna overdraw your bow. And since this has uh, big gears, and clicks into place you don't want to end up having to click and overdraw your bow but you want to be able to get right to the end so we'll take this out and then we will install it obviously extend these maybe to midway so that you have some room to adjust otherwise you won't be able to tighten it all and I have carabiners if this doesn't fit on, which it does not. So I have two just working load 200 pound carabiners from Home Depot. All right, so there's that. And then next up is going to be the scale. So we'll get this other carabiner out. Okay, so there's that, and actually, I'm getting kind of quite the draw here, so. So I wanna make sure that I can at least draw. So I'm going to measure this, make sure that I can get the right amount here, put in my post, and then tack on this yardstick. Alright, same thing, we're going to pre-drill these. All right. All right. 
right, you can pad this with um, whatever you want to. I What I did is I put one layer of electrical tape down just to kind of get in those threads, fill them up, and have it uh, not be on the galvanized steel. And then I took part of an old yoga mat that I had inside my toolbox drawers. And I'm just going to wrap this around, duct tape it, and then once I have this all on, then I'm going to measure my inch and three quarters over so that it's accurate once this is done and going to be on the riser of the bow. Alright, I got some sweet hunter orange tape here. All right, there we go. Now we can measure. Okay, I'm gonna cut off a couple inches here. About four, four and a half. All right, now this will fit here. And to make sure it's straight, I think she's all done. So let's uh, test out a bow. Alright, 
this draw length is just over 28 and a half. Actually, it may be a tad bit more. All right, 55.1 was the poundage, and the draw length was 28 and three quarters. And I believe that it's set on 29, so it's a quarter inch shy, but that's pretty sweet. All right, guys, I uh, hope you liked the video. I hope it was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, uh, comment below. You can check out the videos that I made last year. Uh, I didn't do any hunting videos really this year because I was really focusing on just becoming a better hunter, and I wouldn't say that I'm as good, good enough to self-film and hunt all the hunts and be successful. So I learned a ton this year and hopefully next year I'll be able to film some more hunts. And right now during the off season, I am working on building some tools like this draw board and some other things to help tune my own bows. And then I'm really just gonna be focused on shooting and becoming a better shooter and following the school of knock again um, this winter. And yeah, hopefully next year I'll just hunt with my bow. That's the goal, is to hunt with my bow only and see if we can get a deer and an elk next year. So yeah, thanks for watching.